Hi everyone, it's your boy Sean. Welcome back to another Summoner Swap video. Today we'll be doing Max Damage Jin because he has a damage boost passive. If I pull him a while ago as a fake 5 star, okay? Oh, back to back lining! Back to back lining! Back to back! Oh my god! Oh my god! And as a joke on stream, I 6 star him. I use him for like one day. <laughs> That's pretty much it, I use him for one day. So today, we're gonna put Lucian Rune on him, attack, quick damage, attack. This is probably my best rage set. And see how much damage he can do. Alright ladies and gentlemen, attack buff, branding, armor break, max damage, gene. Let's see how much we can do. Does this, does this scene bring some memories back? So before doing this video, I was looking around on YouTube to see if anyone did Jean before and I stumbled upon this treasure. How long ago was it? November 10, 2015. Let's have a quick flashback guys. Let's have a quick flashback. Are you ready? I know you are not. What's up guys, YDCB here with some more Summoner's War action. Nice. Are you ready? I'm guessing 45. What do you guess? Surprise visit! Surprise, motherfucker! Oh my god, that was way too fast, I didn't. Slow motion. <laughs> that was way too fast. I couldn't even see how much what that was. Boom! The boss is gone. 77,000 for a second skill. Hmm. I expected a little bit more, but maybe for a second skill that was not too bad. Alright, Wind Reef Beast, Branding Armor Break Attack Buff, let's see, Surprise Visit! 190? Um, that's, that's not bad though for a second skill, but... Uh, I, damn, I, I, I need to stop seeing Math Plus games in video. <laughs> I need, I need to stop doing that. So in order to use Jean effectively in pretty much any PvP aspect of this game, which is what Jean is designed for as well, you need to bring a lot of setup for him and also a lot of protection for him. Because if he's dropped below 50% HP, his passive become useless. Like, that is quite dumb, okay? <laughs> like, they need to give him some sort of self-protection here. Like his dark brother, uh, he has uh, anti-crit passive. So. Give, give me some self-protection here, or else this guy is just a one-shotter that can't even protect himself. And his damage output... I don't know, let's see. Surprise visit! <laughs> I mean, I'm in mean a pretty low rank in terms of <laughs> guild war, but 67,000 on a Cayman. Yikes! Oh my god, this is gonna one-shot the Perna, look. Boom, 27k. <laughs> Oh my god, the damage, the damage was great, man. You think, you think killing my gene will, 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 will discontinue this video? No, man. Take this, surprise visit on Eladro. Let me see some good number. Oh, 53,000. Oh my god, even though these guys might not have the best rune, but that was some sexy damage. You, got, you gotta, you gotta admit, right? How much? 45,000. Holy crap. Oh no, this is gonna kill my gene. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was some good damage. That was some good damage. I've gotta say, gene has one of the most irrelevant arena leader skill I've ever seen in Summoner. So like, who designed this guy? Who in the right mind resi designed resistance for for some, for a unit like this? Like, I, I, I don't understand. Give him a tank power. Give him crit rate. He's a pure damage dealer, man. <laughs> like, why? Why this leader skill is so useless? I don't understand. Holy crap, 48,000. That's so good for a second skill. I mean, probably nothing compared to like small chimeras, the speed chimera. But I think it's still pretty decent. But in the end, he doesn't get crit rate awakening. He doesn't have a relevant leader skill. Like, Oh my god, Gene. So everything is wrong about you. Like the guy who designed you, he, he should he should get a buff. Like uh, 
a life still passive or something because his his passive is about him having a ball 50% HP. Give him a life steal passive, then he'll be great. I think he'll be great with a life steal passive because he does so much damage. So at least he can be self sustained and he can always have his high damage. But now, come on, come on, man. Like, his damage output potential is crazy. But the design of this unit is just wrong. Like, they, they was too busy designing lure. They, they forgot about the rest of the stuff. <laughs> the rest of the Phantom Thief. So man, oh my god. I, I don't get it. Like, look at lure. He's the most relevant in this family. And he, he makes sense. He's a crowd control unit. He got buff so that he can be on par with Galleon in a sense. And he has an accuracy leader skill. Very relevant. This guy is a good AV damage dealer, but due to the fire heavy meta, he's kind of irrelevant now. HP? Come on, man. Like, they awaken into a irrelevant leader skill. Give him good rate. Attack. Gene. Resistance. Oh, come on. Defense. Okay, he's a support, so his leader skill makes sense. This guy. This guy makes some sense. His passive has some sort of protection. Uh, mechanic because he's gonna be built as a swishy damage dealer. It's an attack leader skill, perfect sense. Give me a give me crit rate leader skill. Come on, give give this guy speed leader skill. They are they are very aggressive unit. They are not some 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 support man. They are not some support. Give him a better leader skill. Maybe he'll shine. I have some other unit in the storage. Let me know in the comment if you want to see any of these guys with that rune set to perform high damage for your entertainment. Because I think this kind of video is more interesting than me doing it well with the same team. That's kind of boring, am I right? I know. Mats, are you here to copy strike me? Please no. I know this concept. I know this concept has been done uh, many times over by many different content creators like Mats, YDCB. But... There are units that haven't been explored. Okay, I don't want to venture into down here because I'm way too lazy to make new six stars. So something here will be fun, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as possible. Bye!